My name is Adam Wolf. I'm a detective of the supernatural. Two years ago, my sister Allie went missing. I've been looking for her ever since. Each case I solve brings me one step closer to finding her. This is my story. For a couple weeks now, the city's been plagued by strange fire breakouts, with stories all over the news. But what's missing from the news is that there are people disappearing with the an old buddy of mine from the force, Marv, asked me I managed to identify one of the perps causing the fires. I chased the killer into a dead-end street. He had nowhere to go. Missed me by the skin of my teeth. No more pulling punches. There he goes. Yuck. Which way did he... He went through one of those three tunnels. Which one? There he is. <sighs> I hate closed spaces.
as the burning monster fell to the ground. He was behind the fires, all right. But who was behind him? What the hell? This is not over. What the hell was that thing? What's that? It's a cot. I should call Marv and fill him in. Adam, what's the status? I got him. Whatever that guy was. I guessed as much. That's why we called you in on this one. I'll send a team to your location to set up the scene. Marv was pleased. Me? There was nothing more I could do that night. Sleep would bring me little comfort. And there she was. My sister Allie. And her disappearance, which keeps haunting me. In my dreams, I'm reaching out to her. But she always slips through my fingers. Something wasn't right. Things were not, not where I left him last night. I had a visitor while I was asleep. A visitor who left clues. seems out of the ordinary here, but I'm sure the thief tampered with this area. Well, the moment I held it in my hands, I simply knew. This will change everything. A watch. Why would someone leave me a watch? That's a strange symbol. There's some marks on the paper. paper that came with a watch. <sighs> this can't be a coincidence. What in the name of...
intense. I saw... I saw the past. 320. The visitor. He left something on my board. Allie, my sister. This is where I kept track of her case. All these years and still not any closer to finding her. That's the last picture of Allie and me, before she disappeared. A photo of her apartment, the way I found it after she was this. I know this file like the back of my hand and this wasn't here before. Someone left a message for me. Sakat. That name rings a bell. Sakat Gallery. First that pyromaniac, now this. This place was definitely worth paying a visit. But, first things first. The visitor had to have left fingerprints on the paper. I'll take a photo of it and send it to Marv. He can run it through the database. Hey, Marv. I got a favor to ask. I just sent you a part. Sure, but it'll take some time. Any suspect? Nah, I got no idea who I belong to, but... Okay. I'll send it to forensics and call you in a half... While Marv works his magic, I'm off to investigate this gallery. No rest for the wicked. There's Ali's business card. I remember how proud she was when her company made her those. My old cell phone, still in working condition. This thing is industry. A metronome, a musician's best friend. Helps me stay on beat. Ali made this straw man statuette when we were kids. This photo of Ali is a few years old. She disappeared shortly. This veil is a memento from my first case as a detective of the supernatural. Haunted house stuff. <laughs> Never gets old. Gold Medal of Valor. It was the high point in my police career. This looking glass was a present from Marv when I was... I gave up smoking years ago, but I still keep this lighter. Wow, it's been ages since I played any games. Oh, my comic book collection used to be huge. Hey, my old police badge. This is actually my... The gallery gave off a strange vibe. I knew the security room would be the perfect place to look for clues, given all those cameras. Greetings, I am Saeed Al-Qadir. Welcome to my exhibition. Nice to meet you. Name's Adam Wolf. I've heard of you, Mr. Wolf. I'm investigating the recent conflagration. We've had several fires here, but... Uh... Do you mind if I had a look around? Not at all, Mr. Wolf, but...
Touch me again and you lose the hand. Sorry. This was sure to give me a view of the entire gallery, but the guard would have surely found me and kicked me out. I needed to find a way to stay the night. some sort of connection here. The fires. They all happen at midnight. I need to spend the night at the gallery. It's a matter of life. Sir, I don't know who you are. I'm the detective investigating the recent conflagration. Don't know about any connections, but we did have a couple. But if I'm to let you spend the night, I'll need to... Okay, 
Take the keys to my office desk. There's a spare uniform there. Well, the only thing left to do is wait for midnight. There's a fire in the gallery. I have to get out. Ooh. I have to put out that fire as soon as possible. Ah, oh, crap. There's no going back now. I'll have to jump. Here goes nothing! The landing was harder than expected. You could barely breathe out of the shadows. Said approached. Mr. Wolf, you have no idea what you got yourself into. After that, I just let go. I awoke in a strange room. Saeed was there, together with three. That demon almost got me, but I had the feeling I wasn't out of the fire just yet. He's seen too much. He should be eliminated. Do you know who this is? He is Adam Wolf, the detective of the supernatural. I don't like it. You hardly like anybody, Fang. Mr. Wolf, please. Ex Why don't we just start from the beginning? My name is Antoine de la Croix. These are my suit, but as you said, let's start at the be- Our story dates quite a while back, Mr. Wolf. My friends and I first met- Our paths led us to each other. The dagger would be stuck. All was 
well until one of us a demonic entity was released. Since one of us died, we now all have to die. I can understand the sentiment. Quite. Whitman was a scholar and spent days on end researching our path. His home might contain some clues as to how the de- I didn't care much for Whitman or his evergreen buddies, but if that demon wasn't stopped, the entire city would burn to the ground. I took the case. Touch the dagger. The dagger can prolong life, but it is guarded by Arahad, a fiery ghost. In order to possess and keep that power, a pact had to be made with Arahad. Every two years, the dagger would switch custody. The first to hold the dagger shall be the al Qadir family. al Qadirs are descendants of an ancient Arabic bloodline, wealthy beyond imagination. Next in line to guard the dagger will be the Kroms are known as cunning bankers who amassed their fortune in 18th century Europe. The dagger then moves into the hand things whose ancestors advised the Chinese emperors themselves. Ever moving. The deck, the incredible wealth of the Delacroix family grew from their cotton plantations to the south. The dagger's journey in Whitman's, a line of scholars and professors, forever create, and none of the family shall hurt the other, lest as long as this pact is upheld. The cycle shall repeat forever and again, granting life eternal. Seems I walked into a crime scene. The police gave this place a thorough sweep. I should get in touch with Marv. Adam, is this about the fingerprint you sent me? Good to know. But I need something else. 
Yes. A guy called Joseph Whitman was murdered. He's somehow involved. I need to know the time of the murder and any information. Let me check. Ah, uh, yes. I had to get to the bottom of this. Whitman was key to stopping that flame monstrosity. He must have left some clues on how to take it down. All the collectors and their holy grail. Dagger, that is. What's this? Their secrecy. Killed while he was looking at something near that tapestry.
prolonged life that the dagger grants is un- I decided to destroy the dagger, but I have to be cautious. I learned that our pact was protected. I've scattered my records and- Saeed never knew I found- So, Whitman wanted to destroy the dagger. I saw the symbol back at the lobby of the house they dragged me into. The dagger is here. Better watch my step. Whew. For a moment there, I thought the fire demon would bust out again. Looks like that thing nap time's over. is sand from Ir Fatim, one of the last sand elementals.
Finally, a breakthrough. The fire demon's weakness is sand. A sand elemental is able... The fire demon's weakness is sand. The fire demon's weakness is sand. A sand elemental is able to counter the fire demon. In my work desk, I hid the crucial piece of information on how to find and tame a sand. It's impossible to open it without a two-part key. The first, my mortal remains will rest in a chapel I wish I could take. Good reason why we shouldn't get rid of you, right? Ex cops can disappear just as easily as the next guy. Go on. I'd love to see how you deal with the fire demon yourselves. At least I know how he. Do you know? This is what we'll use against him. Son, enough. Then stop acting like fools. I have the means to. What? In that case, I believe. Go on then, Mr. Wolf. It was time to see what secrets I'd uncover inside Whitman. Before I had a chance to take a good look, everything turned black. I don't know who's after me, but maybe I'm lucky and he left some clues behind.
I know this print. It's the same as the one on Saeed's headscarf. That bastard tried to kill me. I need to call Marv now. Adam, that fingerprint is still not analyzed. Marv, I think my employer just tried to kill His name is Saeed El Qadir. He's the owner of the Sakat Gallery. All right, Adam. I jumped into my car and drove off to the Mojave. The phone started ringing. Only one person. Adam, we've got a location on Saeed, but... Let me guess. He's in the Mojave Desert. Yeah, how did you know? I'll tell you all about it later. Thanks all the... I drove all night long, and the sun greeted me as I entered the desert. It was all too cinematic. You dirty son of a... Mr. Wolf, please. One way or another, you're gonna answer. What crime? You almost buried me alive at the graveyard. 
I did no such thing. You killed Whitman in cold blood. I'd never do such a thing. I saw you at Whitman's place, sneaking out of the house. Whitman knew how to get rid of the flame demon. I was seeking that knowledge. Things have gone too far, Mr. Wolf. All Look out! I did not kill anyone, Mr. Wolf. Stay with me. I wanted... Here, take the damned thing. Managed to distract the shooter just. I charged him full speed. As I jumped the assassin, one thing became. <sighs> You're the woman. My name is Zafira. A few months ago, Feng and Crumb hired me. Later on, they hired me to get rid of Saeed. Then you showed up. I was supposed to wait until you destroy the fire demon. Were you the one who pushed me in Whitman's cask? Yes. I wanted to make it look like... Here's what you're gonna do. Call your employers. Tell them that the fire... Saeed has been dealt with. Yes, Wolf too. After he defeated the fire demon. I'll take care of the bodies and bring you the dagger to... Once I get out of here, I will... You're welcome to fail at that again. Two elementals in my hands. Shall I unleash you both now? The hell? Not just yet, little buddies. I have Crumb and Fang to deal with first.
fire and sand elementals hate being tin close proxy. Crumb and Fang are going to answer for the lives that were lost. The sun sank beyond the horizon, and darkness fell over Frisco. Gunshots. They were shot in cold blood. This is quite a surprise, Mr. Wolf. He's gone. But your assassin couldn't make- It wasn't my assassin. Now, drop your- So, where did I fit in this- They all wanted to get rid of you at first. But I maneuvered them into letting- Once you did that, I would grab the opportunity to de- It was Whitman's death that broke the pact and woke the fire demon, was Yes. Crum and Fang found- Acting preventively, they hired an assassin. Later on, Saeed decided to destroy- Enough of the idle chat. There is one thing you- And what would that be? Well, I kinda lied about- The moment had arrived. I unleashed. He burst out in the blink of an eye. The fire demon forgot all. The same could be said. They stormed at each other with blazing speed. The whole room turned into the last I saw of the elementals. It was a blind. I found myself alone in the room. That symbol. It's the same as the one on my watch. What could this mean? Picture of Allie. Wait a minute. What was her connection to Delacroix? Marv, I stopped him. All the I know, Adam. I'm not calling about that. It's a so, what have we got? You better sit down. The results just came in. That means she's alive, Marv. She was at my home. Or someone. This is a sign, Marv. I got a feeling that with each case, I'll be closer and closer. 